at the 6th International Chinese Internal Arts Festival, which was held in October 1997 at the city of Newcastle-upon-Tyne in England, Lama Dondrup Dorje gave a demonstration on how energy is cultivated through the practice of classical qigong in a program entitled A Discourse on the Physical Manifestation of the Buddhist Classics, the Heart Sutra of Perfection of Wisdom. The Heart Sutra of Perfection of Wisdom explains why emptiness is the true nature of all phenomena. According to the teaching of Lord Buddha, understanding of this emptiness, referred to as Kong in Chinese and as Tompanyi in Tibetan, has the power to bring cessation to all forms of human suffering. This film you are about to see is a condensed presentation of the original program given by Lama Dondrup Dorje which lasted over one hour and 40 minutes. The Hust Sutra of the Buddhist scripture is a discourse given by Buddha. Now, most of the thing that we do is motivated by the dynamic of vibrary. You find this dynamic of vibrary exists not only among people who may not like each other, it exists also among husband and wife, brothers and sisters. In all level of society, vibrary is football game. My team could be better than your, your team. If it's not, you start saying something perhaps not too pleasant about the other team. Now, all this about attaching to things that you fantasize. Now, when it makes an vibrary like this, after a while, even when you are, are successful, when you succeed in attaining what you want to attain, you end up still unhappy. You might say, I want this promotion for this job. And you get this promotion. But at the end of the day, when you get it, you suddenly realize, wait a minute, I am not as happy as I thought I would be. And that's suffering. Suffering also means uncertainty. Not knowing how things will turn out. Not knowing how things should be or would be. It also means a recurring situation. A recurring situation is something you know that happened once before, you ignore it. You do not take notice of it. The next time, you return in a thicket. In thicket dosage until to such point you cannot ignore it. Now that is generally the manifestation in terms of physical sense, that's disease. In terms of the way you interact with people, that's when you become unhappy. You feel that you need to control the situation. <coughs> Today, we will ask one of the Nobel Priority Club here, Simon Crow, Senator Simon Crow, who has been practicing karate for 18 years, is a third degree black belt in karate. He will assist me by doing what he normally do. It's punching, kicking, full power, full speed, whatever you want to do. And I'll try to explain what you by Kong. Now, Kong is like this. If you think you are independent, that is, you are so important that everything must work around it. It means you have this idea. The idea is, I want to be successful, I want to be happy. Because I want to be happy, you need to suffer. I don't care what happens to you, I want to be happy. You see that happens sometimes on the street of people perhaps who is behaving themselves. They want to pick on people. They want to show that they're in control of their situation. Why? I am stronger than you. You are constantly, continuously acting in opposition to what you truly want, to what you truly feel. Are you not creating something? Mm -hmm. Now, in control, for example, is here. Can I? <coughs> in a general situation, okay, I control the way, I give him a punch, he block, and he punch back, and I block. Now, that's vibrate. That means whoever bent in my person, that's vibrate. Okay, I punch, you block, you punch, you block. But that is, I am me and you are this. I'm not with you. Alright, that's very much it. Like if you are little, you drop it in a, a glass of water, 
The needle is still the needle, the water is still the water. But in the Heart Sutra, you are not really real. That all things is of empty home. Now what does that mean? It means emptiness is the same as fullness. Fullness is the same emptiness. Home means you should be more like a salt, a grain of salt. When you're a grain of salt and you drop in a glass of water, you no longer become a grain of salt. You become part of every atom of that water. You're not just one grain of salt, water, no. You become every part of the water and every part of the water becomes that salt. What it means is, he punched me, I'm not only just separate here, but I come before him. I become him, because I become him, I can play his energy. And after a while, you have seen form practice before. That's the first stage of stretching the body, grouping the mind. Later on, the form not only important. Now, you might wonder what's happening. Why do you explain to people to say, are you jumping because there's something in your pen? <laughs> now, why are you jumping so excitedly? Explain to them. The, the feeling when I begin to attack is exactly as if I were attacking any other martial art practitioner. I have the absolute intention to hit, because that's what I've been requested to do. However, as I begin the attack with full intention, I bounce back. It's very difficult to describe, but I do lose control of my body. Sometimes, more profoundly than others. Uh, sometimes the legs move from underneath you. Sometimes you feel the body steered. But all the time, you, you are you are being guided. That's probably the best way I could suggest it. Okay. <clears throat> now that is what I talk about by merging it with the person. He might be attacking me, but I welcome him and wish to win him. I do not wish to be separate from him. I wish to become him. Because I become him, I can help him to change it to act in a different way. Kung, we say, Kung means the material world that we know, the illusional, the illusional world that we know. You can touch it, you punch, you can touch it, okay, you can touch it, and you can feel that. At the same time, punch, same thing. I reverse the energy by becoming his energy and change energy. Then I change it a little bit so that I'll make it play in a totally different situation. Ooh, oh. Ooh. 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 But at the moment, there is not getting hurt. Why? The energy I use is extending. Now, however, stand this way. Okay. However, if I wish to change the energy, the energy expanding inside that. Boy is in the body, so it doesn't get hurt. However, if you come in, I condense the energy. This way is a person. Come again. Oh, come again. <laughs> That's why classical and classical internal art is about not just fighting, no, it's about eating. It's about understanding nature of him. So that for example, if you punch me, instead of trying to block me here, okay, whoever's strong will stop that. I help him, in the most recent sense, I help him to say, give me shit, but I check it there. Alright. Now, he doesn't even need that much, maybe I use a little finger. Look. You wish to do something, why you intend to do something, the board goes elsewhere. So how can you move your energy? Qigong practices is about will your mind extend your energy to go over there. Now, 
What's the difference between applying energy to the dynamic of library as comparison to working energy in a harmonious manner? When you work by the dynamic of library, you're always creating conflict. Conflict means something has to give, something has to bury in someone. You are, as you say, you got to stop that point. Huh? Okay?
Sometimes I do find it very difficult to explain. Again, attacking with full intent. Absolutely determined to strike. That again has been what's been requested. That last one was more uh, sapping. I just lost all will to attack at that point. Uh, not bouncing, just sinking. Literally a sapping. In the first beginning, I'm manipulating energy in a way I'm actually working, I'm merging with, I play with. Then guess what? Next, when they come to me, they come, they come in. Ready? With full intention, come in. Thank you. 
I'm saying to Tuesday, it can be a bit running off a bit easier. <coughs> Maybe I'll do this. Whoa. Whatever you want, you become that. Because you become that, you're not based on white word, it becomes like less merge. And get along. Let's understand each other. Isn't that the basic of relationship? Relation between yourself and your partner, yourself and people you work with, yourself and your brother and sister, yourself even with the car that you try, the tool that you use. But understand your nature and apply it. The truth about cone in the last few years, all is of emptiness. You will understand what's, how selflessness we really are. If you can see beyond that, then you will rise above all suffering. Whatever it comes, you learn how to deal with it. By first understanding the nature, and then by understanding nature, by becoming a part of this nature. And before you do that, you have to learn about sincerity. That is, you're going to have to develop in a way whereby whatever you think, whatever you do, match. That's before sincerity. With that come insight, which is another word for wisdom that gave by experiences. And once you have that, you can learn to cultivate yourself. By cultivating yourself, next, you can cultivate other people. And through this merging and working with nature, that is what in the classics refer as merging with heaven and earth. You are no longer just a human, you are part of everything. Every person you see, you see that as your own mother, as your own father, as your own brother, as your own sister, as someone who has been your best friend. If this is the case, how can you act unkindly towards others? After, from the foundation. Home, understanding, whatever you feel from today, tomorrow is gone. So this way, when you <coughs> come upon good fortune, you accept and say, I thank you for this. And you accept it from an impermanent point of view. That is, well, it's good now, tomorrow, <coughs> pass the best times. And as a result, you don't get excited about it. Yeah, things are not going so well, so well, I hurt myself and I lost my job, so well. Accept it, understand the dynamic of cause and effect. That is, whatever happened now is a result of something happened before. If that's the case, that means you are responsible for it. If you are responsible for it, then you say, I am grateful it happened. Allow me a chance to purify the defining in my mind. As a result, you allow this to come through. And that is what you call as hostile chico practices. You don't start working with energy first, you start with understanding your own nature. By practicing, cultivating sincerity, cultivating reverence, cultivating humility, cultivating gratitude. That's why all things you embrace, you embrace with your whole heart. So, in terms of the training, the form itself is no more than a way that replicate the mental activity of the gross mind and the gross body. The movement has a very specific <coughs> connection to the body. How connect, for example, if you hold on to my hand very, very strong, don't let me move. Yeah, you decided now. Don't let me move. Now, if I try to fight in the internal wifery, I can have help. I can move in, but then I don't work very hard. But emerging means Connect with my body, connect to my root, connect my body, I close my body, I open my body. Is that what you mean? I merge in here. Okay? Don't move now, you mustn't move. You mustn't move. Is it strong? You feel that very strong. But I'm a fight here, I say, let's get along. Okay. Now I say, let's get along, but we also 
you can move that power. Watch. Lay low, you what? You would say you do Tai Chi, you go on, on. Thank you. 